don't believe. Yes. No, I believe you. Yeah, okay. uh, this is Brett Hamilton. I'm going to do a little Come more walk here. around here. All right. We've already had 40,000 QVC customers who have picked up the Bose Link 5. Solo 5. Solo 5, pardon me. 40,000 people. It's a lot. But now for President's Day, yeah. I've got it at a sale price, and I don't remember ever seeing it at a price tag that was this low. Mm -hmm. We're at $179 and change. That means the 40,000 people who raved about it and loved it and thought it was great, they paid a higher price for it than the folks who were shopping today. They did, but worth every dime for what it does. I agree. Right, because it's not just about, oh, I want better sound for my TV. I want to be able to understand what I'm listening to while I'm watching. It's the biggest pet peeve, right? You buy a beautiful TV, you hang it on the wall, it looks gorgeous, and then you go, I can't hear anything. Why can't I hear anything? I'm just going to turn the volume up. I turn the volume up. I still can't hear anything. It's just louder than it was before. Right. Well, one wire in the back of this. We'll show you the magic trick, and then we'll show you how we did the magic trick. But I want to give you an example here real quick. These are the TV speakers. Now, you're listening through. Guess what? The problem, your TV speakers. It sounds okay. And believe it or not, that's turned up to 97 out of 100. It so is. I have this TV going as loud as it should go. It is not about the volume. It's about making it easier to digest, making it easier to decode the audio that's coming through there. So here's our TV sound. What if <laughs> we could bring it to life? Immediately, that's a difference. Immediately. Not by turning the volume up. Back to the TV speakers. All the bottom end is gone. Yep. There's your low end. There's your bass. There's the distinction between what you're supposed to be hearing and what you're actually hearing. Clarity really is the right word. Yeah. Listen to that. Oh, right. But whether you're watching a, a movie you with a lot what? of action. I would have missed that if that were just a regular volume well, of TV. Stick it back over here again. You kind of hear stuff. What if the horses went running by? I rest my case. I don't know any better way to show you guys because you know what? This isn't really about what you're seeing right now. That's why I'm using a smaller TV. Yeah. It's about what you're hearing, right? Well, you think about it. Uh, a good portion of the drama of a movie is the musical score. That's how they create tension, how yep. they create you know, the excitement. And the effects. Uh, I missed the Daytona 500 yesterday. It was rained out. How, it, was, how did you, it was rained out? It was rained out. So they're, they're actually, I think, it's going on right, right now. <laughs> but man, being able to turn the TV up in a sporting event and be able to listen to, like for me, motorsports, yeah, with one, this. one big circle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, a, but, it's but there's amazing. a lot going on in that big yes, circle. Yes, there is. Right? This is also probably, uh, you are a high-tech guy, and, and both mm. Kylie and I were picking you on, on you early. This is probably the easiest installation yeah. and the fastest way to, to get 10 times more enjoyment out of your television than what you do currently. And it's all, it's all an electrical outlet plug. Yep and one cable. Yeah, and that I think uh, usually would keep most people from taking advantage of the, of the difference between TV sound and, and Bose sound, because you go, well, if I buy the speakers, you know, usually it's more than one speaker, yeah. I've got to wire each one, I've got to power each one, I got to get them to talk to each other, no. So it's one speaker, it's one device, and on the back of it, very difficult to see, but there's a little spot that says, oh, you guys are awesome, optical. They are. And right there is the optical input, and guess what? And you get that cable. It we comes give you the it. cable. You don't even need to know what to do with this thing. You just plug it in the back where it says optical. Yep. The other end of it is identical, so you can't even screw that up. You take the other end, you plug that into the back of the TV if where it says TV optical. If your TV is, I'm going to say, what, 10 years? Ah, longer than that. Uh, okay. But even if, you've got an, yeah, even if you've got an older TV, there's our friend from the red, white, and yep, yellow yep, VCR yep. days. You can plug a single cable. And that cable. cable comes with it too. Yeah. And even if those two, and I guarantee you one of these two is going to work, there's your auxiliary input where you put that three and a half millimeter uh, cable that you can pick up for like two bucks online. No matter what type of TV you have, this will work. So here's the cool part. Once you plug this in, Dan, then you're going to turn the volume off on your television. Right. You won't you're need not, it. You're not going to use that anymore. And you're going to use the remote from Bose for obvious reasons for the volume. But also for this little button right here, I call it the dialogue button. Mm -hmm. This is what allows you to hear the difference between all of this and actually understanding what everybody's saying because it'll break down the audio into all those different channels and allow you to kind of decipher and hear and understand the difference between listening to the TV speakers, which sound okay. Immediately you can hear that no, baby. You, you hear it. Right? Or the invisible horses. I don't even know what I hope the other. baby got out of the way. I hope the baby got yes. out of the way. Exactly. So listen to this, back to TV. Eh, 
you lose, you home. really lose something. Yeah. And, and it's sad because the quality of picture that we have today with television blows away anything that we've ever, ever seen with 4K yeah. and 1080p. But yet the audio for television was actually better in the days of black and white <laughs> than it well, is today it was unless a bigger you sense. buy something like this to, to add on. But think about it, when we were growing up, your TV cabinet was bigger than the TV itself. Exactly. You had that huge, yep. huge box, and in the box was a tube before LED and LCD and all that Plenty other good stuff. Plenty of room for speakers. Plenty of room. They had an amplifier, they had two speakers, and everything sounded great, and then all of a sudden, we went to these pretty pictures. Yeah, and they're that thin now. Yeah, where, I mean, where are you going to put audio in something that's razor thin like this that you're going to hang on your wall, and it looks like a painting, it looks like a well, sculpture, it looks like a work of art. And here's one of the secrets, and the reason why Bose can do this in such a slimline piece of equipment, if you've ever seen their Bose Wave music system that we've sold, it's got to be 100,000 of, at a, least. A bajillion. Yeah, well, they use a series of tubes that, that really bring natural sound to life to get a sale price. That horse, by the horses are scary. Horse, sorry. They're scaring me, bro. Uh, that sale price of $179.96, Bose doesn't often discount. No. And our normal price on this thing was you know, 200 bucks or higher. And we had 40,000 people who bought it at that price. So today we give you an opportunity to try it, fall in love with it, pay less money for it, and also have it on easy pay. But that is an expiring price. That price is going away at the end of our day. All right. Well, on top of the fact that it's a great TV speaker and it truly will change the way you listen to as well as watch TV, guess what? It's also a wireless Bluetooth speaker. You can still leave it plugged in with the cable we give you, Yep. but you'll notice on the remote here. Which by the way, the older units weren't. Didn't do that. Yeah, exactly. mine doesn't do that. Yep, the original version didn't. There on the top of the remote is the Bluetooth button. Bluetooth is what we've been talking about what seems like forever now. You press that button and if you have a uh, Bluetooth enabled phone, which you do, uh, tablet, it's Bluetooth. Any computer now has Bluetooth. The music from any of your devices can now wirelessly be sent to your Bose speaker. So you're getting a great TV speaker, but you're also getting a wireless Bluetooth speaker and the ability, as you can see right here, to operate anything else that you've got plugged into your television, a gaming system, a uh, Blu-ray, a DVD player, a cable box, whatever it might be, this will become your master remote to handle all of your devices. You Ready? need both. Okay. Man, you I'm telling you, you yeah. need sound and you need the, the visual. Well, once again, let's, okay, so let's listen to it by itself. This is the TV, I'm gonna shut up. Tell me when Bose kicks in. Hello. <laughs> but you can hear the separation. Well, we can. Oh, I, you know what? I didn't hear the cuckoo clock the first time. Exactly, because yeah. it's buried. It's there. Let's go back to the TV for a second. So start it from scratch. There should be bass here. You'll hear it build. You can almost feel it. Yeah. I keep yeah, in mind. Do. For those of you at home going, I notice a difference, but all I'm noticing is volume, because you're listening to the TV speakers, which are the problem we are trying yeah. to solve now. Yeah, yes. Back to TV, you can't tell me you don't hear a difference at home. It, it changes the experience. Yeah, it does. And it changes the experience on literally anything you watch. Well. Uh, also, even if it weren't this wonderful enhance, I wouldn't have heard that, that's no. cool. I, I'm getting older and I freely admit it, dialogue is the hardest thing for me to listen to because it's right in the middle of the spectrum above the bass, but below the high note. In between the horses. In between the horses, yes. But you know what so, it is, though? So when you, when you get to be my age and you just turn up the volume, it just increases the problem. Yeah. This thing makes everything, uh, it, it increases the clarity on absolutely all of it. And keep in mind, too, let's turn this off for one second. When you watch a movie that was in the theaters on your TV, the movie was mixed for a theater where there right. are speakers that surround the entire room, right? That's how the helicopters go over your head and when the explosions happen and the separation. And you hear movement. And you, yeah, right, you hear movement. What a great yep. way to describe yep. it. Then you get at home and you're listening through two speakers, if you're lucky, in the television, they don't have that same sort of separation. So you're already at a, at a, at a lower standard of what the audio should yep. sound like. This is not gonna be the same as a theater, but it's gonna be way better. Yes. Way better than anything that's built into your television. And, and the movement, the, the sound of movement mm -hmm. was is an integral part of the way the director, the producer, 
set up that that movie. Yeah, this does do that. It's really cool to watch motorsports with this. Well, you'll you you will hear the left to right. Yes, you'll hear that channel separation. So if the car is driving from here to here, you'll you that hear it move effect. across the room. Right. It's not going to move to the back of the room. But it's the next best thing. And you know what? For $180, to not have to put holes in the wall and hide yeah. wires, buy yeah. five different speakers, plus a woofer. A woofer is the bass. This is a sweet enhancement for the bass as you're hearing now. Brett, let me ask you, because you and I have known each other for a long yeah. time, but I'm just really bad with timelines. When did Bose come up with the original solo? Because I've got this the original been, unit. Yeah, this would have been in the 90s at some point. Okay. And they also had the 15, which was that gigantic piece. I, I remember that was a big, that yeah. was a big box. And it was very, that very used heavy. to sit on the floor. But you know what's funny is that this one has seemed to kind of leapfrog over a lot of the stuff that they put out right. uh, since then. I think a lot of it has to do with it's the single cable, but also the, the form factor, right? Right. Because most of us don't want to have to worry about something bigger than our television. And a lot of home yeah. audio is. Mine, mine just sits right in front of the television. Yeah. And, and again, if you just, if you're just joining us, it's just one cable. Yep. This cable goes in the back. It goes in the back of your TV. You plug the other cable into the wall. I lied, there's two cables. You turn it on, you turn the volume down on your TV. Don't ever turn the volume up again. Here's the big story though. That sale price is going away. Bose doesn't offer discounts very often. And again, I, rarely do I ever see this for under $200, but it is President's Day. So we've got it at a price tag of $179.96. That price is going away at the end of the day. Good to see you, man. I like the new demos too. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Babies and horses. That's babies and horses. You know what you need? What's that? Baby horses. Ba I'll look into See? that. See? I will look into I'm that. I'm an idea man. Yeah.